Well, since I've been this attorney, I've tried 24 death penalty cases, uh, which we asked the death penalty. And how many uh, death verdicts did you get? 23. You're going to try this personally? Yes, sir. You're yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, what was your decision in that, sir? Why did you make that decision? Well, this proper case for the death penalty. Big part. This is the proper case for the death penalty. Is I mean, that what? Why, why did you decide to try this personally yourself? Well, I generally try the major cases, and I believe this will be classed as a major case. And he was going to be, uh, I would imagine, yes, it would. Are you elected or appointed? I'm elected. Every four years, I'm starting uh, my fifth term. I'm in my first year, my fifth term. Uh, serving a four-year term. Mr. Wade, uh, do you expect to call uh, Mrs. Kennedy or uh, Governor Connolly, if he's able, in this uh, trial as uh, witnesses? We will not unless it's absolutely necessary, and at this point I don't think it'll be necessary. How soon could we expect a trial? I'd say around the middle of January. Could I recap a few high points of the things you've said with you, Mr. Wade? First of all, has the investigation, in your opinion, advanced materially today? I'm not familiar with all of the advancing. It's mostly routine today, interviewing witnesses uh, at the scene, and uh, I don't, I haven't actually, don't know everything that's been done, but I think it's progressing satisfactorily. Now, the pace in the questioning of Oswald seems to have dropped off sharply in comparison to last night. Is there any particular reason for that? None that I know of. Now, you've talked to Oswald for about how long? Practically none, personally. Have you observed him for a number of hours? I've seen him a time or two, but I didn't get the interrogation started before I got down here, and I left them with it. Well, from what you've seen, how do you sum him up uh, as a man, based on your experience with criminal types? Oh, I think it's a man that planned this murder weeks or months ago, and has laid his plans carefully and carried them out and has planned at that time what he's going to tell the police that are questioning him at present. Well, in these plans, do you have any inkling as to the why, the reason for it? No, very little. It's commonly supposed because of his affection for uh, Castro's Cuba and communism that uh, he was led to engineer this plot. I can't say uh, whether he, that was it. it Apparently, on its face, that contributed some, quite a bit to it. You characterize Oswald as superior in intelligence? I'd say above average. What about any other personality traits that you can detect in him? Because, as you know, anybody who would attempt something so heinous and complex as this must present an interesting personality to the world. I'm sure it does, but I know, I don't know, I know very little about personality, psychology, and the like. I'm not an authority by any means on that. Has he ever expressed any hatred or ill will toward President Kennedy, or for that matter, any regret over his death? He has expressed no regret that I know of. Any I don't Ill know will? about the other. Now, his wife and his mother and his brother are talking to him, I believe, right now up on the fourth floor. Is there any hope that they might convince, uh, convince him to confess? I don't know. Uh, I understand they want him to. Have they expressed that wish to the police officials? That, I don't know. His brother indicated that to me, that he thought he ought to tell the truth about it. Uh, are the two brothers close, do you know? I doubt it. The Robert hasn't seen him since November a year ago. They've been living right here within... This man, it seems, wasn't close to anybody. Have you discovered any close friends in Dallas? No, sir. This in itself uh, suggests a certain type of personality that perhaps is uh, inward, can do without people, can be perhaps dedicated? Not mixing with other people very much. Uh, it's, it's rumored that perhaps this case would be tried by a military court because, of course, President Kennedy is our commander-in-chief. I don't know anything about that. We have him charged in the state court, and he's a state prisoner at present. And you will conduct the trial? Yes, sir, I plan to. Full verdict? We'll ask the death penalty. Uh, how many cases of this type have you been involved in? That is when the death penalty is involved. Since I've been district attorney, we've, uh, I've asked the death penalty in 24 cases. And how many times have you attained it? 23. 
Here comes Oswald down the hall again. Did you find that rifle? The dispatches you people have been given, but I emphatically deny these charges. Oswald has hustled uh, through a doorway. He says he has nothing against anybody. He has not committed any act of violence. Oswald makes this claim as he's hustled from the interrogation room through a doorway down an elevator, uh, up an elevator, into his jail cell. His face is very badly discolored, the results of a scuffle with police when he was apprehended the other day. Now, Oswald has made his latest flat denials in the face of a mounting pile of evidence against him. The last links in this case seem to be hammered into place tonight. Police have traced a rifle purchased in Chicago by mail order for $12.78. They've traced it to Oswald. He bought it under the alias of A. Heidel. Handwriting experts have established that the uh, handwriting on the purchase order was, in fact, made by Oswald. 